Welcome to Innovatrix mini crime series. My name is Michala Franková, business consultant in forensics for ABS team. Today we will focus on latent fingerprint identification. We will cover several parts of criminal investigation, such as collection of fingerprints, enrollment of persons of interests, also called booking, and analysis of fingerprints. If you would like to know more about Innovatrix biometric solutions, please visit our website in the link below. So, let's go straight to our crime scene. Our criminal ABIS solution is developed for different law enforcement units. It offers identification of several biometric modalities. Today, we focus on fingerprints. Firstly, we will collect latent fingerprints from the scene of crime. Latent fingerprints are made of sweat and oil on the skin surface. Processing can include basic powder techniques or use of chemicals. But today, we will use state-of-art device, 4K latent fingerprint detection tablet from Forenscope. 4K latent fingerprint detection tablet is using different lights, wavelengths, and filters in order to capture the best quality print. Fantastic feature about 4K is that it does not destroy DNA. DNA is not ruined by use of powders, and it can be taken and sent for analysis. 4K has tablet from which we can send fingerprints straight to ABIS. After the detection and capture, we can enhance it either inside of the system or we can send it to the ABIS for analysis. So let's have a look at our crime scene. Obviously, this is not a real crime scene. Otherwise, it would be cordoned off. There would be many forensic technicians collecting evidence. But for this purpose of the video, let's just imagine this is a real crime scene and I'm wearing personal protective equipment. We will try to detect fingerprints on all knives collected from the house. So we're gonna just sweep through all the knives detecting usable fingerprints. It appears that only one knife has nice usable fingerprints. In order to get really good quality print, we have to play with the lights, the filters. And at the moment, we have a nice usable fingerprint. We can capture it by using the camera built in the device. Forensic technicians are busy at the crime scene collecting evidence. Investigator is in the meantime connecting all the dots and already has two persons of interest. One person of interest, Roman Sweden, was already verified. Another person of interest, Martin Madrid, was verified. However, he is not found in our ABS database. We will need to do a full enrollment, also called booking, of this person of interest. Suspect is already at the police station. We will start by taking his photos. Frontal photo and a profile photo. Part of the enrollment is also iris capture. We will capture the irises and store them into the database. Please log into the scanner. Look straight. Thank you. That's it. We start with fingerprint enrollment. Could I have your right hand, please? Please turn it. We start with the slot fingers. Great. We will continue with the rolled fingers. Could I have your right hand, please? We will continue onto the palms. So, right upper palm. After collection of latent fingerprints from the crime scene, we can continue with analysis. We will create a case where we will upload all kinds of evidence. We can upload faces, fingerprints, videos, even SMT annotations. So in this case, we have several fingerprints, which we will, which we will upload. And we will establish which of these fingerprints are good enough for further analysis whether they are suitable or not. Some fingerprints are latent, they are only partial fingerprints. Unfortunately, they are not usable for the analysis. However, we found few fingerprints which are belonging to the victim. These were excluded and we have one very good fingerprint which we will analyze right now. This is the best fingerprint we could get 
from alleged stabbing case. So, we start with editing the fingerprint. The most importantly, we need to adjust DPI. After we adjusted the DPI, we can continue with cropping the image if necessary. As we can see, the image is kind of dark, so we will enhance the brightness. We, can, we have also different kind of tools. We can adjust the contrast, gamma or temperature. Now we will draw a mask around the fingerprint. After we drew the mask, we will invert the colors because all the ridges are white in this case. We want to have them black in color. An image is still quite not sharp, so we will use a histogram in order to bring up the ridges. When we are happy with adjustment, we can start searching for the minutia. We will use the detect tool for minutia points. Now we will manually check all the minutia points, whether the algorithm plays them correctly. I see this one was placed on the knife. The knife had striation marks and the algorithm mistaken the striation mark for the ridge. So we will delete this one and we will have a look at the rest of the minutia points. After we are happy with the minutia points and their placement, we can save and close the image. And after we've done the analysis, we can continue with identification. Now the identification will be performed. We are searching one to N. We are searching the whole database for the matching fingerprint. And as you can see, we have one print and one person. Max results were 10, the threshold. We have only one person. And now we will have to manually evaluate whether they are matching prints or they are not matching. So we are continuing with evaluation whether those prints are from the same source or not from the same source or maybe inconclusive. Obviously the latent print is upside down. So we want to turn it other way around, so we have much better view for the comparison and evaluation. Primarily, we are looking at the minutia points. And when we are sure those two prints are from the same source, we can mark it as a hit. The system will ask us if we are sure we want to mark selected applicant as a hit. We can confirm and this applicant was marked as hit. Here we can see that this fingerprint belongs to Martin Madrid. This places the person of interest at the scene of crime. It does not mean he committed the crime. More evidence must be analyzed in order to continue with the investigation. DNA will be sent off to the lab, digital evidence will be processed. An investigator must weigh all the evidence and connect all the dots in order to conclude the investigation. So for today, this is it. Thank you.